So here's a interesting article that I came across and I thought I would just do a quick little take on it and share my thoughts on it. But yet more importantly, the title alone is what caught my attention. It says U.S. plans to send dollars to Venezuela if Maduro falls. And so this is as of today, this morning, one of the uh, administration's uh, speakers or whatnot, Cutloaf, uh, says U.S. will move rapidly if leadership changes. And so a couple of things there that sounds you know a little bit funny. If Maduro falls, what do you mean if he falls? As of now, we see from the mainstream news that it looks like Russia, as well as China, is uh, moving into that country to assist and to train and to basically protect their investment into the country, which would lead to believe that they don't see any type of regime change coming anytime soon. If they're bothered to volunteer and send personnel there to assist Maduro. So that's something that uh, might not fly too well. But yet also, as, as you go through here, it talks about how they plan on actually putting dollars uh, into the economy. And so for those that may not have been following as much, uh, I think it was back in the fall of last year, right when uh, prior to the presidential election in Venezuela, Maduro removed dollars from all of the exchanges and all the markets there. They no longer value or assess the, um, the, the, the oil or any of their commodities there in, in dollar terms. So they basically took the word dollar out of their own vocabulary. And that has played into the need to change uh, the, the regime down there as the U.S. is uh, trying to play that narrative. But and so it looks like the plan is to put the dollars back into the economy through the hands of Juan Guaido. And the interesting way in which they're going to do it. And there's no plan whatsoever. According to this article here, they're talking about they've given Juan Guaido the opportunity to develop a rescue plan so that he can receive the funding. And so what caught my attention as well, it says uh, would use smartphones, apps, and banks to deliver cash quickly. And so once again, like, are they going to just be handing out cash to people? Or are they going to put cash to use or what? But the need to put dollars in there after Maduro has already mentioned that we don't want anything to do with dollars. It looks like the whole goal is to between now and sometime in the next couple of weeks, give or take, to actually start something that could force Maduro out or uh, something of that nature to put Juan Guaido in because there's more pressure being put on him in his own country as they were revoking his politic politician rights and things of that nature. So uh, I just also heard today that it looks like they're, um, they basically made it to where they can actually detain him and more so probably for some type of treason or something like that, as well as investigating his funds or whatnot. So it looks like Juan Guaido may have a very difficult time remaining as the so-called world recognized leader in Venezuela, especially if Maduro or the Chinese or Russia gets behind it and, and basically just capture that guy and puts him in jail or put him on trial for whatever reasons, who knows. But so interesting article. I encourage you guys to take time to read. It's real short. But yeah, just some of the things that stood out to me that was worth mentioning is that Juan Guaido is responsible for putting up a rescue plan. And it looks like they're ready. As soon as there's a regime change or Maduro falls or steps down or de, uh, or as it says here is deposed, then the National Economic uh, uh, Council Director Larry said on Wednesday at an event in Washington hosted by Christian Science Monitor. It says the U.S. is planning to employ banks, iPhones, apps, and many clever ways to get cash in there. So once again, are they going to be handing out cash or what? And so that right there lets me know that this is all some type of political stunt or just some type of uh, uh, distraction slash illusion of them actually caring about the people themselves. Because what what do you do? What are you going to do with that cash? Where, where, who is it going to go to? And I'd imagine that any cash or anything of that nature that goes into that country will more than likely be used to fund some type of civil rights, uh, not civil rights, but some type of civil uh, unrest or whatnot. And it, it would basically aid in people being a little bit uh, uh, easier to hit the streets and to protest and tear up stuff and basically terrorize the current government there. And so basically, I, I believe that the funds are probably going there to support some type of activity that is against Maduro to help get him up out of there. So basically, they're trying to find a way to basically start start problems down there and cause some civil unrest. 
that could be more of a reason for the mainstream news here in the U.S. to say, hey, we need to go in right now. And because they have people on the street protesting, and of course, like always, they'll have video footage showing you know, the, the police against the, the rioters, but the rioters are actually being paid, as it mentions here, by this cash from from iPhone apps and things of that nature. So I think this is a way to, to buy people off in Venezuela to get them to protest, to, to stir up more noise in the mainstream media so that it'll be more uh, it's so it'll be easier, rather, for the U.S. to go in there and try to make change before Russia and China continues to to. Uh, increase their presence there even more so than what we're hearing about from uh, other mainstream sources outside of um, uh, just the the typical stuff we hear in the U.S. So thought I would share this quick take real quick, let you know what's going on. I think there the U.S. is trying to buy rioters and protesters uh, by basically sending funds in there. When Maduro mentioned that they don't want anything to do with dollars, they would rather have Chinese yuan or renminbi. And that's why the heavy investment by Russia and China which is why they're there protecting their assets. And so that basically thwarts the plans of the U.S., but yet we'll see what else they try to pull out their sleeves to get down there because, as always, the whole goal is not to care about establishing democracy or caring about the people. It's all about getting the natural resources from that country because that's pretty much the primary asset that you know the U.S. loves to uh, uh, basically at the end of the day steal. So thought I would share this quick minute. Let me know your thoughts down below. As always, take time to read this article for yourself shortly right below this video. Other than that, look forward to bringing more news updates. Enjoy your day.